All right, welcome back to Weather Nation. Every April, we talk to Colorado State University. Dr. Phil Klotzbach joining us here today for that first hurricane forecast of the year. So thanks for taking some time out of your busy day to talk to us. Uh, Dr. Klotzbach, we appreciate it. So let's get into the forecast. W what are we expecting for the 2024 season? Yeah, well, we're actually forecasting a very busy Atlantic hurricane season in 2024. We're calling for a total of 23 named storms, uh, 11 hurricanes, and of those 11 hurricanes, five becoming major category three, four, five hurricanes. That compares with the average season, which is about 14 storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. So a very busy hurricane season is what we're anticipating with this early outlook. And you know, when, how do you factor in the record heat in the ocean content in the tropical Atlantic? In some areas, it's unprecedented heat. So how do you, how do you look for an analog for something like that when, when the ocean heat content is so high? Yeah, you're right. Um, the Atlantic Ocean is extremely warm right now in the tropics and even in the subtropics, and that's one of the big reasons why we're forecasting a well above normal hurricane season. Those warm waters uh, provide more fuel for developing storms, also tends to lower the pressure um, and create more favorable vertical wind shear conditions for hurricanes to form and to intensify. And we think that combined with the likely La Nina, which is colder than normal waters in the eastern and central tropical Pacific, is likely to lead to an, a well above normal normal hurricane season in 2024. As you mentioned, we don't have um, too many great analogs in terms of just how warm the Atlantic is right now. We do also, so we do select five analog years. So these are the years that we uh, have conditions that we anticipate are most likely to be similar to um, as we get towards the peak of the hurricane season. And those years are 1878, 1926, 1998, 2010, and 2020. All five of those years were hyperactive Atlantic hurricane seasons. Yeah, I think all of us here at Weather Nation, or at least the folks who have been here for a while, remember 2020. Um, so what, are the, what other factors are we looking at when we're going into hurricane season forecasts? I know we, we look at the West African monsoon, maybe some other large-scale circulation. So how are those shaping up for the season? Yeah, so typically when you have um, a very warm Atlantic combined, especially we do anticipate that we're likely to transition over to La Nina conditions. That tends to favor a more vigorous monsoon over West Africa. And when you have a more vigorous a monsoon over West Africa, those thunderstorm complexes, otherwise known as easterly waves that come off of the West Coast of Africa, tend to be more vigorous. And because they're more vigorous, um, it, they tend to basically kind of increase the odds that they're likely to form into tropical storms and potentially hurricanes once they move out over the Atlantic Ocean. Fantastic. Anything else that went into your hurricane forecast that you think is notable for the early season or maybe some notes for the upcoming year? Yeah, so, you know, one thing we, this is our biggest forecast we've ever issued in early April. Um, the previous record for hurricanes that we predicted in early April was nine. This year we're forecasting 11. Uh, but it's important to realize that, you know, this is our first forecast. Um, the April forecast, historically, the skill is modest just because we're still quite a ways from the events we're trying to predict. Hurricane season doesn't really ramp up historically until August. Uh, so we still have a few months to go before the season really ramps up. It's also important to realize that, you know, for in terms of preparations that we emphasize that the coastal population needs to be prepared every year for hurricane season, regardless of seasonal forecasts from our group, NOAA, or any other group issuing these predictions, just because, you know, it only takes out one hurricane making landfall near you to make it an active season. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Klotzbach from Colorado State University. Always appreciate it. And uh, hopefully all the hurricanes just kind of stay on the ocean this year. Let's hope so. Thank you. All right. Thank you.